Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Hyundai of Trenton. Take a look at a brand new 2023 Hyundai Sonata, but not just any Sonata. This is the Sonata N-Line, the speedy Sonata. Now we've done the SEL Convenience, we've done the SEL Hybrid, but now we got the speedy Sonata in Portofino Gray. So we're, we're gonna see what this brings to the performance sedan market so let's dig in. The front end of this Sonata in Portofino gray, very aggressive look with the blacked out grill, the N-line badge on the top left, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn signals, functional side air curtains. I would have liked to seen that Hyundai badge blacked out though. Let me know what you guys think, but overall, a really good aggressive look here on the front end of this Sonata. I'm trying to take a picture of this Portofino Gray. It's got some great flake in it, and it really looks cool in the sun. Hope the camera brings it out, but I wanted to try to give you a close-up of the paint. Wheel and tire package on this Sonata. We have a 19-inch wheel. Black, satin black, let's say, with silver accents. A whole lot of busyness going on in this wheel with the end badge in the middle. Let me know what you think about that. What we have here is your standard brake and rotors and the tires. They're wrapped in Pirelli P0 all seasons. 245 on the width, a 40 series sidewall, 19s, all four corners front wheel drive and let me know what you think about the tires i would have preferred to see a summer tire on this end line rather than an all season i think it would have been stickier and give it more grip let me know what you think in the comments full side profile on the sonata end line it is a sharp looking car i love the aggressive body lines i love the rake back to front making it look more aggressive they got the end line badge up on the front fender great sharp body lines that go from the front fender above the inline badge all the way across the car to the rear tail lights and then another hard body line that comes right in the middle of the wheel wells front to back makes it look really really aggressive and this paint is really cool i know the camera is not going to bring it out it just looks like a plain old gray but there is some flake in there that makes it change subtly the color when the sun hits it in the right direction i think this portofino gray paint is really good on this car. Let me know how you feel about this exterior design in the comments. Moving in closer, here is that end line badge on the front fender as I mentioned. And now we have color matte, actually it's a gloss black on the side view mirror with LED turn signals. We are color matched on the door handles with a little bit of chrome trim, not so sure I like that, on the front and the back. And then we're all blacked out on the trim around the windows except for that little spot in the back. Let me know how you feel about that. It kind of looks out of place. Up top, we got a shark fin antenna, got a blacked out roof, and of course the roof is a panoramic roof. So that's a plus. And I also like this stripe that goes down the hood of the Sonata towards the front headlights. Just not so sure if that should be that color or it'll look better in like say a black chrome or a smoked chrome. Let me know what you think about that in the comments as well. All right, back end of the Sonata N-Line. Nice deck lid kick up on the back. Hyundai badge underneath that, Sonata script underneath that. LED taillights that wrap all the way around, which looks pretty cool. We have standard bulbs for turn signals. We'd like to see LED there. More of that Portofino gray underneath. And then we have quad tip exhausts on this N-Line. Slash cut, all functional, looking good in the chrome tips. Let's take a listen, see how it sounds. We are under the hood of this 2023 Sonata N-Line, and what are they using for a power plant? Well, this is a 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine mated to an eight-speed wet dual-clutch transmission. 290 horsepower, 311 pound-feet of torque, MPGs, 23 in the city, 33 on the highway, 
27 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. Before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this gorgeous Sonata N-Line cost? Well, MSRP, the way this one is optioned, $36,240. So let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, nice large aluminum dead pedal, brake and accelerator. Love the finish. The carpeted floor mats are in the trunk right now and they got plastic down to protect that pedal finish. As we come to the seats, we have power seats for the driver with lumbar, but manual seats for the front passenger. And then we have this nice soft text material with the red stitching, looking good, N embossed into the seats, nice headrest with the stitching. Bolstering seems nice, not too crazy. And the in insert of the seat is a uh, kind of like this suede Alcantara material, even though it's not real Alcantara, it's kind of a knockoff, but it looks real good. So the seats in here and the interior look pretty sharp. Door panels looking good, soft touch up top. We got some nice brushed aluminum coming across with that red stitching. We got this brushed aluminum look on the door handle flap, like on the switch gear. Nice semi-soft armrest with the stitching, sharp looking door panel. We come over to the dash, same nice soft hex material with the stitching and this brushed aluminum trim. And then we have a nice large glove box. Infotainment system, we have the 10.25 inch Hyundai infotainment system with touchscreen action, nice and smooth. Dual panel action, nice and smooth. So you can have multiple information up here at the same time. Wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto, Wi-Fi hotspots, all that jazz. We've seen this in here before with navigation and your setup, which is easy to use and swipe through what you want to do to set up the vehicle, whether it's vehicle settings, whether you want to Bluetooth your phone or go to the Hyundai Blue Link, which is putting the, you know, the information from the car on your phone. That's their, their, their deal. But it is a really easy and very responsive display to use. And now if we go to reverse, backup camera, nice and clear with trajectory. So nicely done on the backup camera. Put it back in the park. Moving on down, we hear four-way hazards, two heat and air vents. Down further, we have dual climate control action, which is nice. Then we have three-stage heated seats for the driver and front passenger. Down further, we have a 12-volt, two USB-As, and a wireless charging pad right there. So that's nice. However, I'm not in, in love with all these USB-As. USB-C is where the action is. We have the put, push button to go through the, the uh, gears of this eight-speed dual clutch, the N emblem there, but we do have some gloss black around this, which could get kind of yucky. We have our drive modes, which we'll show you when we do the dash. Auto brake hold, our Hyundai key fob. There it is. Lock, unlock, pop the trunk, panic button, remote start, Hyundai badge on the back, looking good. Here you got your cup holders, then you got this little slide in thing. Probably put your key fob in or something, who knows. But anyway, it looks cool with the trim ring, which is nice, and kind of like this different design, this uh, faux ki carbon fiber look on the here. Why that wasn't translated over here, I don't know. And then we go to our armrest. Again, we have a semi-soft armrest with the stitching. Could be a little softer, I think. And then if you open this baby up, you have a nice area down here for storage and felt lining. Hyundai steering wheel, nice steering wheel, nice 10 and 2 notches. Love the red stitching all the way around with your brushed aluminum trim ring, which looks cool. The end badge down on the bottom of the uh, wheel. Would have liked to seen a flat bottom wheel here, make it easier for you to get in and out of the car because this is a tight cockpit fit. But overall, it is a very nice looking uh, steering wheel with the Hyundai badge on the horn button. Flat black on the switch gear. We have our telephone and voice commands on the left. On the right, you have your cruise control settings, safety suite controls. We have paddles right here to go up and down this eight speed wet dual, wet dual clutch. And we'll be using those on the drive today. On the left of the stocks, we have our headlight controls. And on the right side, you have your 
windshield wiper controls. Down on the left here, you can brighten and dim the dash, lane keep assist off, pop the trunk, traction control off, emergency brake. This is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then we get to our 12.3 inch digital dash with drive mode action. And what do we have? You can go to a custom and you can set your own. You can go to Sport Plus, which turns off your traction control, turns off the nannies, so you can just whip this thing around. Then you got regular Sport Mode, which leaves traction control on, and then you have your normal mode. And of course, we're going to be rocking to start the drive in Sport. And then when we go do some more enthusiastic driving today, we'll move it to Sport Plus. But for now, we're going to leave it in Sport. But it's a really nice digital dash no issues and then you also get other information in the center by just pressing the button on the right side of the of the uh, steering wheel and of course you got gas mileage and then you got your performance gauges right there which is a nice touch and i think that's where we're going to leave it for our drive today but it's a really nice and easy to use easy to decipher digital dash overhead console action Dome lighting is LED in this end line. If you want the lights to go on and off when you open and close the door, this button needs to be pushed in. And then when you open the door, lights go on, close the door, lighting goes off. Here are the control for your panoramic roof. Again, you tap it, and there goes the shade, and there goes the glass. Tap it again, glass comes back, and then the shade comes back all the way by itself. If you just want to open the shade, it's a quick touch, and then the shade will just open. If you, if you tap it and hold it just for a, an extra half second, then the glass will open. So that's just a little pointer. Now we have our sun visor with vanity and lighting right there but it's not an LED and then this is slide yes it does to cover up the side sun good job backseat time here in this Sonata N line I have the driver's seat set for my driving position so let's walk on in low bridge getting in all right now we're in plenty of room for my knees plenty of headroom 5 foot 11 plenty of shoulder width room but getting in here if you're a taller person, you're going to have to duck. You're going to whack your head. Same getting into the driver's seat. No pocket behind the front seat, but we do have a cargo net behind the front passenger seat. And then on the back, we have two heat and air vents and a USB-A. This is, I've said this before in Hyundai Kia cars, they got to get going the USB-C. They don't make, they haven't made phones with USB-C hookups forever. So if you have a phone like mine, which is a iPhone 13 Pro Max, you're gonna to have to have an ad adapter to plug it in because you have to plug it in to, for your Apple CarPlay Android Auto. So they need to get C's going on in their cars. Rear door panel, nice design, same use of materials. Here's your front door panel, looking good. Here's the rear door panel, all the same, looking good with the stitching, which I like. And then we come to the rear seats, same nice soft tex material with that Alcantara type suede material insert with the stitching on the headrests. Nice and comfortable, looking good. And then our center armrest comes down. It's a little bit on the hard side, could be a little softer. And then we have two cup holders. But overall, for a performance sedan, it is very airy and spacious in the back seat and very comfortable. So that's a nice job by Hyundai. Okay, in the trunk area, we've already popped the trunk using the button on the dash, or you can use the key fob. Trunk comes up and it pops open big time, so you don't even have to lift it open. And we have a nice large area here in the back for space in this Sonata N-Line. Here are the carpeted floor mats I was talking about. Looking good, Sonata N-Line script on there, which I like. Nice carpeted floor mat or cargo mat with Sonata on it. No spare underneath, I checked. We have this cargo net, which kind of, for me, gets in the way, but we have the owner's manual tucked in there now, so it won't rattle around during our drive. And then you can put the rear seats down by pulling these levers. You give them a yank, and then you come around to the door, 
pull them down. 60-40 split, 40 on the left, 60 on the right. Then we can pull them down like that. And now when you go to the back, you have a lot more space. Now, obviously the opening is a little bit smaller than the main part of the trunk area, but if in case you have some longer items, you're all set. And it's a really good use of space in the back of this Sonata N-Line. Nice job by Hyundai. Here is this 2023 Sonata N-Line window sticker. So feel free to pause the video, zoom in, see everything that's optioned into the Sonata. And there aren't many options, right? All you got is carpeted floor mats, a cargo net, a cargo tray, and mud guards. And that is it. Most of everything that I just showed you is standard equipment in the N-Line. But now, let's take her out for a spin. All right, we are out on the road driving this 2023 Hyundai Sonata N-Line. And before we get into the uh, more uh, twisty bits on the roads here, I just want to make a few observations. I drove about five miles away from Hyundai at Trenton to get up onto these back roads. I'm averaging 32 miles a gallon in sport mode. So we got great gas mileage on this vehicle and it takes regular unleaded per the owner's manual, 87 octane. So we're saving money right off the bat with this vehicle. It's tight, it handles well. They've stiffened up the suspension to give the, to, to uh, prevent roll of the vehicle through the corners. So they've done their work on this Sonata and line to get it to the point where it can be a fun weekend performance car, however, it has the same issue as its sister car, the Kia K5 GT. It has an open front diff. It does not have a limited slip diff, which is going to mean it's not going to get the power to the ground as well as a limited slip diff would. Plus, this one has the all-season tires on it. Frankly, I would put on Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, summer sticky summer tires, with uh, wearability. Uh, to really get the performance out of this vehicle, these all-season tires are probably going to let it down on the drive today. Great visibility out the front glass, rear glass, side view mirrors. I got all of the technology in here that I would want as far as safety, blind spot, monitoring, cross traffic alert, all that stuff, uh, lane keep assist, all that jazz is in here. So it is a really well put together, a really well put together machine at a really attractive price point, a little over $36,000, which isn't bad. Plus I have this nice digital dash with the performance gauges. So we're all set. So that is pretty much the nuts and bolts of this thing and all your tech with the heated seats in it, uh, wireless charging pad. So they got you covered on tech. And it's a really smooth drive right now. I'm in sport mode, but I'm letting the, the, uh, the car shift for itself. And it's a really nice and smooth ride. It doesn't beat you up too much, which I thought it would feel a little bit firmer. Maybe when we go to Sport Plus, it'll firm it up a little bit more. But I feel really good in these seats. There's been some criticism uh, from some people that the bolstering is a little bit too aggressive. I don't think it's aggressive at all. So I really like how, I, how these seats feel. <coughs> now, pardon me. So we're going to come down. We'll hit it in the Sport Plus. See what this thing does on the twisty bits now that we're all warmed up and ready to go. All right, Sport Plus means all the nannies are off. Traction control off. Sport Plus. Shift with the paddles in three, two, one. And that's the problem with the open diff. It didn't get the power to the ground. We spun the wheels a bit, trying to get off the line, but it handles well. Well damped, really nice and stiff on the body. Suspension is really well done. Coming through this corner, nicely done. Not too much roll, 
they've stiffened it up really really well overall and now we're off to the races down the road but you can see with that demonstration what I mean by the open diff I really would like to see Hyundai throw in a limited stip, slip diff the Elantra M has one so why not the Sonata N line because they don't make a Sonata N so how about Hyundai putting that limited slip diff into this Sonata N line to give it more grip from a standstill but really nice shifts the other thing I like, I have the uh, the uh, radio off, so I don't know if there's pumped in sound in here or not from the engine, but a little slippage in the wheel there too, but I don't know if there's pumped in sound right now. I'm getting the sound, I believe, from the tailpipe, and it's all right. It's not bad could be a little better but it's holding the line really well on these sweepers to the left end of the right here so it's doing a nice job and the funny thing about this car is the Elantra N line feels really really light on its feet and this Sonata feels much more substantial in weight and in feel on the road but it holds the lines beautifully coming around again this sweeper now back to the right back to the left got to slow down now unfortunately nice response and the upshifts and downshifts from this 8 speed wet dual clutch lost traction again I think tires would help because these are all seasons and they just don't have the grip that a summer tire would have like a sport Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tire but also if it was a limited slip if you had a limited slip diff and and the tires on here whew, this thing would get the power immediately down or all-wheel drive but again all-wheel drive will add weight and Hyundai's trying to drop weight on this Sonata to make it more responsive and stiffen up the chassis so there's in lies the conundrum with the all-wheel drive but I definitely think better tires would help a lot even with the open diff but nice handling on the road really well composed gives you a lot of confidence to push this through even with the traction control off push this through its paces nobody's behind us so we'll do an emergency stop in three, two, one. Okay, we got the anti-lock plate brake buzzing my brake pedal, but it stopped nicely. It didn't go all over the place. The wheel stayed straight. Nicely done. And again, we're spinning tires, trying to get that power down. And now we finally got the traction and we're moving it down the road. So. That's really the one issue I would have with this vehicle, right, is number one, it wouldn't deter me, deter me from buying one of these, but I would definitely get summer tires on this car rather than these Pirelli P0 All Seasons. If you've got a Sonata N-Line, let me know what you've done to help improve the grip on the car. 
coming off the line uh, and how you like it so far. It is a compelling value option in this performance sedan segment. There's no doubt about it. I just got out of a Camry TRD a little while ago and I really like that car as well. I really like this one too, but this one is lighter on its feet than the Camry TRD. The Camry TRD is a heavier car. Uh, and of course, they both still have open diffs as well uh, on the front. So it's an interesting, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, comparison between the TRD and the price tags are similar. But I, <laughs> and you know, spinning the tires it makes you laugh it makes you funny you, you lose speed right if you were trying to do a zero set of zero to 60 time you're gonna have a problem but uh it's still fun to spin tires uh now car and driver did their acceleration test in this car they got zero to 60 in five seconds which puts it just about the tenth of a second off the civic type r however edmunds on their test track got 5.6 so there's two competing zero to 60 tests for you. Give you an idea. All right, we're gonna come down to a couple of sharp turns now here on our way back to the dealership. We'll see how this does, but we can't take them too fast or pretty sharp. But it holds it nicely. Nice, really good, really good, 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 good. I really like this car. Definitely like this car, I think, better than the Elantra N line. I haven't been in an Elantra N. I'd love to get into one of those. Hopefully, we'll get one on the channel sooner than later, but they're harder to find. But this Sonata is a ton of fun, and you can have your Sonata, you know, a million different ways, whether you want to have it the plain old one or whether you want to have the hybrid getting big gas mileage or you want to have this end line that brings a lot of fun and excitement to your drive you are all set with uh and having your sonata in a lot of different ways i like how this is set up i like the ease of everything i love how it drives it's a fun driving car you can drive it every day you can go to work go to school do your errands and then on the weekend hoon it around on the twisty bits and have a lot of fun so I think it's very versatile that way. And now we're back at normal. Everything is settled down. And now it's driving nice and serene. No problems. And we're going to go down the road and we're going to get... We're going to improve the gas mileage again on the way back to the dealership. So you can... This car has a lot of different personalities. It's got that devilish fun personality. And then it's got a serene calm personality. And I like the way Hyundai has engineered that. And I like the way this power plant uh, is. And I like the way the transmission goes up and down the gears. So overall, thumbs up on this Hyundai Sonata N-Line. Let me know what you think. You go in Sonata N-Line... You go in Kia K5 G GT, you go in Camry TRD, put it in the comments, let me know what you think. I'm going to put the Camry TRD review at the end of this one, in case you want to see what my views were on that particular car, but I think we're going to wrap up the Sonata N-Line video right here. So I want to thank Hyundai of Trenton for allowing the channel access to this 2023 Hyundai Sonata N-Line for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.